Scooters, eh? Wayne's favourite subject. Well, perhaps his second favourite subject. But they do have their uses. They're not particularly my cup of tea, but they're useful in the same way that a police panda car is, in the same way that a big traffic patrol police vehicle is, in the same way that our friends, the pan-European, is useful. But what's this at the end here? A scooter with a police sign on it? Well, we're here in Brown Hills in part of the West Midlands force and I'm going to see PC Alan Smith who is the man who uses this in his policing duties. The scooter has become a byproduct of the, of the job really. Um, it's a means of transport for me to get to uh, the jobs and incidents that I have to attend. But primarily yeah, crime prevention issues, architectural liaison issues um, and community safety. Can I ask you what you used before you had the scooter? Well, that was rather quite an issue. I had to grab whatever transport was available, um, be it my own car, um, or if there was a police vehicle available, then I would use that. But of course, with the demands upon the police vehicle, that was very uh, difficult to achieve. So by getting this sponsorship, upon, this sponsorship package with uh, Kimco, I've now more or less got um, a, a private vehicle for my own use. One of the interesting points that I've noticed, Alan, the bike isn't actually, or the scooter isn't actually marked up in police colours. They didn't have a white bike, I presume, so we went with whatever colour was available. We still put the police stickers on it so it's identifiable as, as a police vehicle, but um, the, the colouring really isn't a major issue to be concerned about. Now, something else I can't help but noticing, but you've got the full police gear, including the helmet. Yeah, be it whether we ride in the Pan-Europeans or whether we ride in scooters, um, there's a safety issue. Falling off a scooter at 30 mile an hour is the same as falling off a pan at 30, so we try to promote the, the correct equipment to, to ride motorcycles with high visibility jackets and protective clothing. Now, I noticed when we were out, you got some interesting looks of passerbys and whatnot, but how do people perceive you? Is it more sort of friendly interface? Yeah, we get some very strange reactions to it um, when we ride along. They expect to see us on a red and white pan-European sort of thing, blue, or, or whatever colour scheme is in, in use. And all of a sudden to see us on one of these scooters, it's, there's double takes all the time, you know, yeah. what on earth. Um, but it does break down barriers because they, they come and say, well, what are you doing on that? Where, where you had this from and, you know, what's going on? And so we, we explain how, how we come, we, we're using the scooter. And, and particularly with youngsters as well, as the scooter trend is taking off. And we want to be seen to be part of that yeah. uh, in advising the kids on how to, to ride these things properly and what equipment to wear and, uh, and not, you know, to go out in jeans and trainers. And so it, it breaks down barriers and we can get into the youth scene a lot easier. Now, while you're out actually visiting the scene of crime or whatever, you're in radio contact with your control. So can you get diverted to other incidents? Primarily, I'm out visiting uh, victims of crime or uh, incidents of crime. Yeah. In, in the after event, yeah. more or less. But, uh, but yeah, we're, we're mic'd up, we carry uh, personal radios, the helmets are hooked into um, personal radios. And so if we hear something happening that's in the locality, I'll divert off and give assistance to that if I can. Now, I know you're separate from the actual traffic units. Oh, by the way, what do you actually call these traffic units now? They're now called RPUs, Road Policing Units. Still traffic, different name. <laughs> okay. um, they serve the same function. <laughs> Now it's not just mobility, is it? Because scooters are more economical, so that must come, with budgets being what they are, that must come into it as well. Um, because if you say the, the economics of it, um, we will be evaluating the scooter later on, looking at um, how it's been perceived by members of the public and other police officers because they have access to it, um, how it's worked out economically, um, miles per gallon, and that's quite considerable at the moment. It's, yeah. uh, it's very good. And, and how effective it's been in, in, in my role and other people have access to it to, uh, to help them in their, in their jobs. And I'm sure we'll see more of them about uh, and, and used by a, a greater variety of people such as ourselves.